I'm going to do an exercise for Siamese Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. Siamese Mahjong is when you play two hands at one time with one opponent. You get lots of tiles, 28 and 27 respectively. It's very challenging and a lot of fun. If you decide that you want to play online, I highly recommend that you practice first because you only get two minutes to make a decision on what to do with all those tiles. Otherwise, the game will discard for you. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do three random pulls. We'll alternate between player one and player two, so we'll get 28 tiles, then 27, and then 28. We have a joker, pair of flowers, east, west pairs, and a south, red and white dragon, eight, nine, and cracks, one, two, four, seven, eight, nine, and dots with a pair of eights and a pair of nines. In bams, we have three, four, five, pung, pung, pair. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first discards. If these were my tiles, I would play flowers three, four, five consecutive run and east and west with seven, eight, nine pair, pair, pung. Is it single pair, pung? Single pair, pung. This is how I would do it. This can be used up here either way. With the consecutive run hand, we could Kong Kong. Even here, we could Kong. So this hand is actually set as it is with that joker there. And then up here, we have no gaps for this hand, but we're a little light with our Kong with tiles east and west. East, West, seven, eight, nine. I don't think I would keep any of these tiles. I think these are solid enough to commit. Eight discards with Siamese Mahjong, that's a great guideline. If you can come up with a plan for your tiles with eight discards or less, I'd say that's a pretty good use of your tiles. If you would do something differently with these, write pull one in the comment section below with what you would do. We have a couple of jokers, three flowers, northwest, pair west. In cracks, six, seven, eight, nine, pair six, seven. In dots, one, two, four, five, eight, pair four. In bams, two, five, seven, eight, nine, pair nine. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first discards? If these were my tiles, I would build around the multiples and definitely use the flowers. I would let the winds go. So I'd probably do four, five, six, seven. Seven, eight, nine, like numbers with nines. Eight, nine in mixed suits with six flowers. 
and here would be the discards. So that's seven discards, two clear hands with some options for this one. We could do, let's see, six, seven, eight, nine, but for four, five, six, seven, we've got pairs for the Kongs. We could even use these to help us get there quick. We just need one more good pick to get set for that hand. Here we've got a build. We could do seven, eight, nine flowers. We'd have to let one go. Or we could do six flowers with eight, nine, and that would leverage the multiple there. I think that's how I would do it. If you would do something different, right, pull two and what you would do with these tiles. We have a green dragon and a pung of reds, northwest, south. In cracks, we have two, three, four, seven, eight, nine, pung of fours. In dots, we have three, four, six, seven. In bams, we have a pung of threes, seven, eight, nine, pair, seven. And we do have a couple of jokers. With these tiles, if these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first discards? If these were my tiles, I think I would play two, three, four consecutive run and six, seven, eight consecutive run not sure if we can use those dragons, but let's set it up and see. We could do news concealed right there, maybe. It's pretty weak though. You need you need um, two or three norths, three souths, and an east in there, and then build that up. But here we have two pung. Three, four. We have no flowers. I wouldn't even pick a hand here. I would just gather. Let's see, down here. Seven, eight, nine, six, seven, seven, eight, nine. I wouldn't pick a hand here either. We have a pair of sevens there we're building around. Okay, so having, oh, this pung here, I would, I think we should try to use the dragons. So I think I would reassess here. So using the dragons, maybe we could play like numbers with sevens. That would use the dragons, at least most of them. Let these go. It's nine discards. There's a potential for like numbers with threes up there too. So here's sevens, like numbers with sevens. Like numbers with sevens. And then two, three, four up here. Maybe we could do three, six, nine as a backup. Kind of a plan B, three, six, nine, three, four, though. Those are multiples here. Let's see. Yeah, I don't think I would, I think I would just let those go, gather 
two, three, four. Hope to get maybe flowers. If we get flowers, we could do three, four with six flowers. That's a really big gap though. This doesn't look too bad. This was a real challenge. I think I would hold these. Maybe even hold the winds. We could force a quint here with these dragons and a multiple there. We would need to build up here. So maybe that could be the plan B. What we could do though is maybe use one of these for the quint. What about that? And then play maybe three, six, nine. Okay, let's let's reassess. So potential quint with lots of options five discards. But if we switch to three, six, nine, and a potential quint with the fours, let's see how many discards we have left. I think this is how I would do it. Let's see, two, four. There is some two, four, six, eight here. Maybe start by discarding the nines. I think this is how I would do it. Like numbers with sevens or a potential quint and then some kind of two, three, four. One, two, three, four if ones come in, two, three, four, five if fives come in. I would just gather for both. If you would do something differently here, write it in the comment section below with pull three. When you're playing Siamese Mahjong, you get a lot of tiles, 28 or 27 respectively. It can be a little overwhelming at first. That's why it's good to practice. If you have a set of tiles at home, give this exercise a try. Otherwise, look in the video description for a link to a set I highly recommend. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do, that way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.